the first time in more than four years England have named an unchanged side. Uh, they're going with the same 15 from that narrow win over Italy for the game against Wales at Twickenham on Saturday. Here's our rugby reporter, Sarah Orchard. It's the first time that England have named an unchanged 15 since 2019. It displays arguably a settled camp. You can spot one change if you read beyond the starting 15. That's on the bench where the Bristol prop Ellis Genge, vice-captain for England, does return because he's recovered from a foot injury he picked up just before that Italy match. It was, of course, a test match that England won. However, they do know they need to step up at home against Wales. Whilst last week's performance was far from perfect, there was a promising start and I I think particularly looking at some of those younger players, the, the, the players, the less experienced players, I think a really promising start from those guys. And um, I think with this blend of, of experience and, and leadership um, led by the man next to me, plus the, the, these guys that are fairly young into the international environment, I think it's important to keep that blend. And, and build a continuity and cohesion. The last time England actually played at Twickenham was a World Cup warm-up match against Fiji, and England fans will know that that didn't quite go to plan. Off the back of that, plenty of talk from this England team about reconnecting with the fans. Will you be seeing changes if you're attending Twickenham this weekend? Apparently there's new music, there's changes to the signage in the dressing rooms. There's also going to be a longer walk-up for the players to get into the stadium so the fans that visit can actually see their heroes. Whether that all works, England fans will have to wait and see. Kick-off on Saturday against Wales, 4.45.